Facebook, a social revolution. 500 million people use it. That's equivalent to the entire population of the European Union. But how we use this window into our lives is now being closely watched. Until two days ago, Suzanne Morrison was just another face on Facebook. But now the young photographer is splashed across the newspapers for all the wrong reasons. While Ireland was mourning the tragic death of Michaela Macarivi, Suzanne Morrison was using Facebook to question that massive outpouring of grief. One post read, What is it they say about what goes around, comes around, or karma, or whatever you want to call it? Another read, Suzanne Morrison is sick hearing about Michaela Hart's death. Thousands of people die terrible deaths every day through diseases and whatever. So what makes her so special? Suzanne Morrison worked for this local newspaper here in Rathfryland. She was only new in the job and was on probation. But her employers were furious by her comments. And we can reveal from today she no longer has a job. In a statement, the editor of the paper said, We remain totally appalled by the comments made on Facebook. The County Down outlook continues to categorically disassociate itself with the comments made and can confirm that the individual whose personal Facebook page contained the comments is no longer employed by the County Down outlook or any associated company. The latest edition of the County Down outlook was on the streets of Rathfryland this morning. On the front, a story they'd rather not be writing about. Former employee Suzanne Morrison was not able to be contacted for comment. Rathfryland was quiet today, but those who were about were shocked by the Facebook postings. I just think it's awful because, you know, she obviously hasn't been through like a tragedy what that family have gone through. I mean, they're bound to be devastated. And for things that got to be said, it's, well, it's not very nice. It was just very nasty and, like, you shouldn't have things like that like posted over our website and you think she should go from her job yep stupid stupid i would say oh no are you shocked by it? yeah very much so this is by no means an isolated case last week a page making menacing threats to celtic manager neil lennon was removed from facebook it said let's get 100,000 people that want to see neil lennon get shot this is the sinister side to social networking and you could find yourself on the wrong side of the law. There is the really serious um, problem that someone can get into with regard to libel. Now libel is where someone publishes something and then someone else reads it and they send it on to their friend or it's published worldwide on the internet and one can then face great consequences there. The, the consequences, provided it's not a malicious um, libel, there's consequences of um, damages. And damages for libel are in hundreds of thousands of pounds. The case of Suzanne Morrison clearly shows you must think hard about what you put online. What you're posting on a social network, depending on your privacy settings, very often it is public domain the minute you press post. Uh, once you do that, whatever you say is public record. Uh, so my advice would be if you're not willing to say it in person, do not post it on Facebook. Facebook is used to unite people all over the world and there's no doubt it's a powerful means of communication. But it can also be destructive. Sharon O'Neill, UTV Live Tonight.